So hey there, how are you doing? This is Kari from TechFans here. So last week we have installed uh, this uh, particular project, Matrix 11.5 on our Redmi Note 11 Space or Spacen. So in this video, we will see the uh, quick review and what and all things I have faced and what and all features are there, which is exclusive or which is really interesting. So all the things we will see in this video one by one. So let's get started. So first and foremost, we'll start with the build details. So this is the uh, latest official uh, project matrix uh, version 11.5.0 uh, with the build date of uh, June uh, 3, 2025, which is almost like a week old one. So this is with the uh, kernel uh, 4.19.325 and then uh, we have uh, multiple features and uh, things are enabled this will also have the uh, security patch of last month which is uh, may uh, 5th uh, 2025 so uh, these are some of the basic things about uh, this custom room so uh, what is the uh, good things uh, that we can uh, expect from this one so straight to the top uh, like we have uh, this uh, thing called matrix override where you have multiple options in terms of ua lock screen quick settings status bar notification and all the things like in the miscellaneous you have a uh, uh, game space and spoofing options uh, which is actually uh, great so uh, i i usually don't uh, uh, recommend you using this this google play integrity spoof because this is not at all working as of now uh, so we will come to that uh, uh, pif uh, part uh, later on this video so all the things we have and uh, uh, there are really really cool stuffs uh, available also in the developer option or uh, in here in the miscellaneous you have uh, something called freeform launch mode here you have uh, two options like native aosp and uh, uh, LMO freeform. So this is what I was mentioning in all of my video. So here if I open the YouTube and if I go here and click here I have the freeform option. So if I click here uh, the freeform will come here you can uh, just uh, redo and everything but the cool part is like once you have opened this in I'll here you can keep it open and in the background uh, you can still uh, use the Instagram and other stuff so which I found it uh, really really useful this is there in the nothing OS uh, with the same of phone one but I was missing this in some other custom room now we have it in here I'm actually glad that we have it in here and also we have the app hide and uh, lock options like here uh, this is google's native one i believe so if i type uh, private space it will automatically ask for the pin and if you put the pin it will show here uh, in the uh, bottom so this is not the same app like you have it in here this will have the totally uh, different uh, profile uh, uh, to use it so this is like a different profile and different app not the app uh, which you use this is actually a private space not like uh, locking the app or hiding the app from the uh, what app drawer so this is totally different thing uh, which means you can actually uh, log into different account in here and again use the different account to log in here here even if you open it uh, it is different uh, play store from the uh, initial which you have uh, seen uh, um, uh, normal in here because those will be having two different accounts it will consider like a, a different device like a virtual environment so this is really uh, cool and uh, uh, here you have the uh, google glance so a uh, lot of rooms uh, used to have this uh, google glance but here uh, this having some uh, quotes and uh, it's good okay so we have a private space and app lock and hide feature and another thing is like i usually forgot to mention that uh, we will be having this uh, audio effects which will significantly improve the audio performance paired with our stereo speaker so these are some of the cool stuffs which i have mentioned which i have noticed along with that you have multiple things like uh, all the fingerprint face id are working and uh, you have tons of things in the matrix override this is one of the good uh, customization compared uh, or same like our uh, evaluation x so customization wise you don't find any problem with this so what are all the other things well uh, audio audio is working fine and headphone jack is working fine bluetooth audio is working fine you can make a call and everything and you have uh, 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 all the basic stuffs uh, working perfectly fine you have this uh, miua camera uh, which is uh, working fine earlier in the previous build we were using the infinity x there we had the uh, some sort of leica camera but this seems to be a normal miua camera working fine there are some struggles with uh, 1080 uh, 60 fps uh, options but overall it is uh, considerable you also have the uh, i have uh, installed this gcam gcam also working fine with this uh, one the camera 2 api is enabled by default so let's just uh, talk something uh, some more about uh, uh, 
this uh, benchmark things so first we'll start with the uh, 3d mark wildlife so in earlier infinity os x uh, 2.7 the 3d mark was not at all running but here it is uh, surprisingly learning uh, we are getting the overall score of 441 and uh, the average fps 2.64 which is almost uh, same as our uh, mi there isn't any uh, difference to this so next thing is i have uh, run the ant2 so ant2 score we are getting like 294000 which is uh, some sort of uh, less compared to our MIUA or even the Infinity X. In MIUA, we are getting almost 3 lakh 8,000 and uh, in uh, Infinity X, we are getting 3 lakh uh, 3,000. We are almost uh, uh, 15,000 points got uh, reduced in the Antutu benchmark score. Also, uh, we have uh, uh, ran the what, uh, Geekbench 6. So Geekbench 6 also, again, it's less like in our uh, uh, Infinity OS 2.7, we got around a single core of 416. Here we got uh, 376 or 786, uh, two times I have run. In multi-score, we got uh, 1407 in our Infinity X, but here we got uh, 1360. In another scenario, it, get, it went like 1330. Six. And the graphical performance is almost same as our Infinity OS and the MIUI. So we are getting around 349, which is same as the previous one. So overall, the uh, performance wise, it's got a little bit reduced like 7% uh, or something. But I didn't uh, feel it uh, when I was using this uh, in the day to day basis. So uh, in the stress test, uh, we got around 83% uh, of its max uh, performance. So our average is uh, 1 lakh. 54,000 but in our uh, infinity x our average itself is uh, 1,73,000 and here the max it went like 1,74 but in our uh, infinity x uh, we got it uh, around 1,84 so when compared to and in infinity x we got the uh, stability of 95 but here we got a bit less like uh, 83 which these are all almost uh, changes based on the notification you receive or something which runs in the background so overall it's not uh, much of a change like we got like a 10 percentage of uh, here and there uh, changes so this will also support the uh, netman uh, sorry uh, multiple bands connection so it will support the career aggregation so network speed and uh, speed test also have run which is almost same as our previous uh, infinity OS X or uh, uh, MIUI battery backup is almost the same like our uh, previous uh, OSS like uh, we are getting around uh, seven hours of uh, screen on time uh, nothing much and the charging also it supports fast charging it's it took like one hour uh, 20 minutes we have a uh, phase unlock working fingerprint working and uh, uh, let's talk about the day-to-day -day performance well day-to-day -day performance wise it is really really great and smooth battery smooth well if i open the app it is it uh, the initial launch it is taking some time you can keep around uh, two to three apps uh, max in the background so uh, here if i open so it is automatically opening also you can enable to see the uh, ram uh, here the free how many free uh, free ram is there so almost i am maintaining around 700 mb so if you are using uh, like 6 gb ram the performance uh, and uh, multitasking will be uh, good so also i have enabled 120 fps so this is smooth as butter and if i open the multitasking this is uh, really really uh, working fine there isn't uh, much of a problem if you are doing some payment and you want to copy from other uh, uh, pages you can uh, easily do it it is not force closing multiple times so that is uh, kind of a cool two to three apps you can um, uh, maintain it uh, in the background so overall the performance wise uh, this room is uh, fine there isn't uh, much glitch here and there there are glitches are there like this nav bar coming in the middle so those kind of things are there but overall this matrix is i i like it in terms of the day-to-day -day performance it's not bad especially compared to <laughs> miua it's not that uh, bad these uh, closing open and closing animations all the things are uh, liquid uh, this uh, fluidity is uh, really really good so uh, let's talk about the problems of uh, this ROM, what and all there. So first thing is this, uh, I have uh, installed this BGMI. It had some uh, uh, storage related issue, which is fixable. Like you can open any uh, file manager. Like here I have a solid explorer, right? So inside that you go to internal memory and Android OBB, just to delete this uh, uh, BGMI. So it will work. 
so that's the thing the another problem that i noticed is this nav bar is coming in the middle so which is almost uh, uh, same with other android 15 based rom this is almost there sometimes random glitches are there but uh, that is uh, forgettable because in within few seconds uh, if you just close the app it will just again come back to its normal situation so it's not uh, much of a problem for me uh, so let's talk about this uh, one of the big giant which is the integrity uh, test fails so by default uh, even if you enable that uh, what uh, integrity fix uh, this particular rom uh, still uh, fails in the uh, Google Play integrity, uh, this is not certified. Even if I run this, uh, what? Uh, integrity API checker, uh, it just fails uh, all. It doesn't even pass this uh, basic integrity or device integrity. But the surprising thing is like uh, uh, this uh, Yono SBI app, like we have seen in the same of phone one video, whenever these uh, things fails or it is rooted, it won't even go inside the screen. But here it is going, so which means it is uh, working. Also, I have uh, touched this HDFC app. HDFC apps also working pro uh, perfectly fine. It's not showing any other uh, device is not certified or any thrown error. I also also tested with the GPA, GPay, Google Pay. So Google Pay also uh, seems to be working. It's not a, a much of a problem. So this is some sort of mixed reaction like the uh, it is showing it is uh, failing but some few apps are working. This may not work in future. I, I, uh, I'm not sure I can't 100% confirm that this will work until unless the developers uh, find a way to uh, fix it uh, by default by rooting the device by enabling some um, kernel su or any digest uh, packages or what PAF modules you can uh, fix it uh, these problems but uh, I don't want to root uh, getting to the rooted uh, section um, by default so yeah overall this banking apps is working but it is like a moderate level not like a, I don't know if it is <laughs> trustable or not in terms of backing apps but overall this room is really really great and it's uh, glitch free and uh, uh, really fine uh, tuned and uh, Performance wise, it's fine. It's a balanced battery charging everywhere. It is uh, ticks the point. Only thing is this uh, play integrity fix. So yeah, that's all about uh, this video. And we even uh, did the installation video and the uh, OTA doing the OTA update with this one, which uh, worked perfectly fine. So to watch those video, you can click the link uh, in here. And if you want to watch uh, previous uh, videos of Redmi Note 11, we have the playlist here. Subscribe and thank you for watching Coat Moto.